here. I am here to help wrap up our little theater history series that we've done. We learned about where theater started in Greece. We learned about different types of theater. And today we're gonna to learn a little bit about theater terminology. What you can see, what you can be in, in a theater. So lots of different words that we're gonna learn that are gonna help you when it's time for your show, time to perform, you'll know all of the words that you need to know to perform in that space. The curtain that goes across the front of the stage is called the Grand Curtain. The area in front of the Grand Curtain is called the Apron. The backstage area on either side of the stage is called the Wings. And the area in front where the audience sits is called the house. The back of the stage is called upstage. The front of the stage is called downstage. Left and right are based on the actors left and right. So if you're standing on stage as an actor, your left is called stage left. And if you're standing on the stage as an actor, your right is called stage right. There are many curtains used on a stage. The curtains on the side in the wings are called the legs. What is this a picture of? Did you say the grand curtain? That's right. What is this a picture of? Did you say the house or the audience? That's exactly right. If you are looking at this view of the stage, you would be standing in what? Did you say the wings? That is correct. You would be standing in the stage right wing. Wasn't that cool to learn about all of those different things? So now, when you go perform, whether it's with Up With Kids or a different theater, you're going to know all the words you need to know. So if you hear people talking and they're talking about the legs or the wings or the house, you'll know what all of those mean. Okay, guys, I hope you have fun learning with me today. I will see you soon. Bye!